Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to use maximum power transfer theorem to solve a problem. So, let us take a problem having internal resistances of the voltage sources present. So, I am considering a voltage source along with the resistance. So, this is a voltage source given like this, it is a 4 volt divided by 2 ohm, this is also a voltage source given like this 2 volt slash 1 ohm, a current source of 2 ampere, resistance is 2, this is also 2, this is 4 ohm resistance and a current source of 8 ampere given A and B are open ends question is what resistance should be connected between A and B in order to get maximum power transfer and at the same time also calculate P max. Let us solve a problem. Okay. So, first step I know the condition load resistance, the resistance should be connected between A and B points should be equal to RTH. So, the step number 1 is calculation of RTH. But before solving a problem, let us crack this. So, it is a practical voltage source given, how I am going to convert that? It is nothing but a resistance and a voltage source. So, it is 2 ohm resistance connected in series with a voltage source of 4 volt. Now, it is easy to analysis. Next, let us convert this current source into a voltage source reducing number of loops. So, if I convert this into a voltage source, it will be a 2 ohm resistance in series with 2 multiplied by 2, 4 volt battery and rest of the part of a circuit will be as it is. So, this is 4 ohm as it is, 8 ampere current source will remain untouched. Again, this is a voltage source which is a practical one. So, I can draw like this a resistance in series with a voltage. So, it is actually 2 volt with 1 ohm resistance and this is 2 ohm resistance as it is these are the terminals A and B. Our job is to get RTH which is nothing but a resistance between points A and B. So, what we need to do? We need to do three things. One is open circuit RL, but here RL is not given only, already it is open. Voltage source or short circuited. Current sources are open circuited. So, what I will get? I will get circuit having resistances only. So, between A and B points, I will have resistances of 4 ohm, 2 ohm, this is 2, 2 and 1. A very simple circuit I will get. These three resistances are in series these two are also in series. So, 4 plus 2 plus 2 is nothing but 8 ohm 
1 plus 2 is 3 ohm. So, what I will have? 8 ohm parallel with 3 ohm. So, RAB I am getting as 8 parallel 3 which is 8 multiplied by 3 divided by 8 plus 3 which is 24 divided by 11. So, it is 2.1818 ohm. So, to get maximum power transfer to RL, RL should be equal to RTH should be equal to 2.1818 ohm. Step number 1 is over. Let us go to step number 2. So, step number 2 is what is the maximum power transfer? So, maximum power transfer P max equal to Vth square divided by 4 RTH. We have calculated RTH, now we need to calculate Vth. What we need to do? We need to open circuit R L that is the only thing we have to do rest of the part of the circuit will remain as it is. So, I will redraw the circuit because in this circuit already there is no R L given. So, circuit will be like this 8 ampere current source parallel with resistances and battery one more resistance with its battery so these are the terminals a and b 8 ampere current source 4 ohm 2 ohm this is 4 volt 2 ohm this is also 4 volt, 2 volt, 1 ohm, 2 ohm. I have to get a VTH that is voltage between this point A and B. So, I will apply a simple nodal analysis having only a one point A and another point I will consider as a reference. So, I can say V A is nothing but VTH. So, let us directly consider V T H as a variable. So, at this node I am considering branch currents like this and here because the current source is having outward direction for this A I keep that as it is. So, if I apply K C L at A 0 is the incoming current and this 3 are outgoing currents let us write equation for this current started at A V A ending on reference which is 0 divided by resistances, but before that we need to check is there any battery connected. So, here there is a battery of 2 volt in the current direction it is changing polarity plus to minus. So, it is minus 2 divided by total resistance is 1 plus 2. Let us write equation for this branch current plus started at A ending on reference in this direction of a current I am having a battery changing the polarity from plus to minus to so minus 4 at the same time again same current direction one more battery is there, but this time it is changing the polarity from minus to plus. So, plus 4 divided by total resistances in a circuit 4 plus 2 plus 2 and third a simple current source given of 8 ampere. So, if I rearrange the terms I will get V A coefficient is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 8 and I am having a constant here minus 4 plus 4 will go plus 8 and here it is minus 2 by 3. So, if I solve for the V A I will get V A as minus 16 volt. So, I am getting an answer minus that means the polarity we need to change. So, I can say 
V A is nothing but V T H equal to 16 volt B positive with respect to A. So, now I got V T H R T H is known already I can say maximum power transfer will be V T H square upon 4 R T H. So, 16 square divided by 4 multiplied by 2.1818. If I solve, I will get maximum power transfer as 29.3336 watt. So, here we have come to an end of yet another problem of maximum power transfer theorem. In subsequent videos, we will solve more numericals based on this. Thank you.